I stumbled into Hamza's latest video saying, you should be ashamed of yourself. Success only comes down to one word, dissatisfaction. You will only build success if you are dissatisfied with where you currently are. You are in some ways satisfied at being a fucking loser. You're in some ways satisfied at being broke. You are sat satisfied in some ways. If you if you aren't grinding hard, if you're someone who's grinding hard as fuck, then you're probably not satisfied and you're making making things work. So if you want to build success and you want to get to like the next, you want to achieve the goal that you've set out. You want to build more muscle. You want to build a better body. You want to attract women. You want to make money. You need to start to be more dissatisfied with your current life. You should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself. You should be so fucking embarrassed. If you're watching this video because 99% of guys, you're broke as fuck. You need to be dissatisfied with life to create the, the first pillar of change. For men, negative emotion is actually really valuable. I was thinking about this and actually this is in line with what Andrew Huberman said. In the goal setting episode, Huberman said that negative visualization is actually more positive than positive visualization when you don't feel like doing the thing. And most of the time, you're not gonna feel like doing the thing. At least that's the case for me. If you are not feeling motivated, then what the scientific literature tells us is that you actually want to spend one to three, maybe five minutes visualizing failure, visualizing how terrible you will feel if you do not achieve your goal, visualizing severe consequences, perhaps mostly of the sort, like telling yourself, gosh, I set a goal, I set a 12 week block, I quantify it, I know I wanna do this, here I have the time to do it and I'm simply just not doing it. And in that case, you would think, okay, well, you should kind of build yourself up, maybe call a friend, text a friend, get some encouragement. No, if you're not feeling motivated, you want to spend one to three, perhaps five minutes meditating, concentrating on what it's going to feel like to fail and the fact that you are not succeeding, but indeed that you are failing. And I know this sounds like rather harsh advice. If you are having a hard time getting motivated toward a goal that you actually want to achieve, then spending that short amount of time thinking about how lousy you'll feel when you don't achieve it recruits certain elements of your so-called autonomic nervous system. It creates shifts in the release of things like epinephrine, norepinephrine. Basically what I'm saying is, if you're highly motivated to do something, you're ready to go, spend one to three minutes, maybe five, visualizing the positive outcomes that you're going to experience when you ultimately finish out that 12 week cycle as a consequence of all the great work that you've done. If, however, you are not motivated, you're feeling like, I don't wanna do this thing, I'm procrastinating, I'm just not feeling like doing it. Yes, I wanna achieve the goal, but I just don't feel like doing it. Well, then your task is to take one to three, maybe five minutes, and think about how much more lousy you will feel when you do not achieve that goal at the end of 12 weeks. And that, the data tell us, recruits certain elements of your nervous system, your hormonal system, that are more successful in getting you into action, into starting toward your goal, than were you to try and build yourself up towards all that positivity. So yes, indeed, there is a place for negative thinking. Previously in my phone home screen, I wrote down, you are realizing your full potential to try and get myself to do exactly that. But to be honest, it wasn't really having any effect on me. Now I replaced it with Hamza said, you should be ashamed of yourself. When I look at that, I'm like, Damn, time to work hard. I think it's an important reminder to do the hard work and stop slacking off. Of course, if you just feel ashamed and don't do anything about it, then that's absolutely useless and probably harmful to your self-esteem. But the whole point of feeling ashamed is to propel you forward into action. And when you take action, you feel better that you're one step closer to your goals. Assuming you have goals and you should have goals. It's important to remember that everyone has days when we slip. So don't be so hard on yourself when that happens, but let that slump propel you to get back into the game and take action. For me, it's making these extra videos on top of my dailies. So you don't have financial freedom and time freedom, you should be ashamed of yourself. Let's go, baby.